New irons for 2023 from Tour Edge today. The 723 models, C723 and E723. We've got Michael here to hit some shots and provide some feedback on all the testing. And we'll tell you guys everything you need to know about these two irons. Belfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like this video, and then leave a comment and tell us what you think about the new 723 irons from Tour Edge. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Michael Geiger today uh, with some new Tour Edge irons for 2023. C723 in my hand, E723 in Michael's hand. Um, follows a similar cadence probably to the drivers in the sense that the C723, uh, the competitive spec is what mm -hmm. Tour Edge calls it, so a little bit more players oriented, uh, right. smaller shape from what we can see here initially. And then the E723 is going to be for the players out there maybe mid to higher handicaps or potentially swing a little bit slower. That's what we know initially, but mm -hmm. of course we have to do some testing to find out. We do. I think you see two kind of hollow bodied irons. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see pretty impressive distance. Yeah, Tour Edge has gained uh, a pretty strong reputation. Um, you know, like we mentioned in the driver video, a bit of a cult following in terms of kind yeah. of the distance numbers. Um, I'm very curious to see what the dispersion height looks like. Um, but uh, to start off, just two good looking irons. Right. So the Vibercore technology has been in these irons for a few years now. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where I wanted to start because it's one of their trademarks in the sense that they're out there like every manufacturer is trying to chase that explosive performance, but in a, in a package that feels pretty good and right. doesn't give out this like crazy sound or crazy harsh feel. So that's what Vibercore does. It yep. dampens those vibrations. It's in both irons. Um, and I think that's going to kind of lead the way to... Uh, at least in the C723, then kind of hollow out the, the body of the iron. Um, with that one, you have a little bit more of an undercut, and then kind of from there it's hollow behind it, mm -hmm. which kind of gives you that game improvement performance. Um, but so you, you definitely can see this is kind of more of that player's distance category yep. in the C723, and then kind of your traditional game improvement tech and look and feel in the E723. Yeah, I think I'm really curious to see. I, I expect really solid distance. I think that we have slightly different lofts going mm -hmm. on. Um, so there's going to be there's going to be little differences, but I think with this Vibracore technology, you're going to see pretty impressive distance. Right, right. Um, the E723 that like you mentioned, the lofts, uh, 27 and a half degrees. Again, that's pretty strong. Uh, yep. they, they continue to get stronger uh, in this kind of space with the game improvement irons. 30 degrees with the C723. And so the way we're going to do testing today, we're going to swing the, the C723 a little bit faster, kind of to clo more closely match up with the golfers that'll play this, and then also slow it down for the E723 as, it did, as we did in the driver video. Um, we've got the Elevate shaft, 95 is the, the weight cra category. Um, we'll go stiff flex for Michael here in both. And um, we'll see what Trackman tells us here, but it uh, should be interesting. Again, have been really successful over the years yeah. in the iron category. So uh, would expect really good stuff from Tour Edge here. Let's hit some shots. That's pretty good. Wow. I actually, and again, that's, so that's the E723. Um, I, I, I like the sound of that. It was first swing. very I solid. Mean, it's not like it's it's not brash. It's not clicky at right. all. No, it seems very soft and kind of and like dampened, which is I think what they're looking for out of Vibracore. Yeah. Oh, that one looks really nice initially. Yep. Yeah. I'm not sure a golf shot gets uh that's, gets straighter than that's that. That's pretty straight. <laughs> that's. We have exactly three feet of curve on that one. Uh, that's uh, you need, you got to be better than that. You lost that one out to the right a little bit. And shoved it a bit, yeah. yeah. Gosh, it seems like this is just really easy to hit straight. Yeah. Since I'm watching you. Yeah. Every ball is taking off and hitting the same point on the screen. Okay, so we've got we've got our five shots. Um, I also think. So we had the one that you kind of turned over here. Um, I actually didn't realize it went that far. It's kind of crazy. <clears throat> um, so I will take that out. Okay. And then suddenly, I mean, you can see how that. <laughs> so four of your five shots were like the same. Um, this one, just a little bit of a miss. Yep. Um, I think you said that too, right? See that ball speed drop. Um, but even still, I mean, you were talking about less than 10 yards of difference from the kind of the average here, right? Mm -hmm. In total. Um, so you're really not missing a ton. You're probably even 
if you're not on the green, you're maybe just right with a green side chip. Yeah, exactly. Usually not in, in trouble, but these three shots are for sure very close to the target. This one might be almost in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so um, give me your thoughts on the feedback. I mean, feel, look, sound, all that. Very impressed. I think like you mentioned it with a, a hollow face, you expect that kind of explosive, right. maybe high pitched kind of yeah, clicky. Yeah, yeah. And it felt it felt really solid. Right. I mean, there were uh, one or two sort of misses in there, but I felt like not only could I could I hit that kind of gentle fade, but when I missed it a bit low on the face, it didn't feel you know, like I was hitting it with a rock. It felt right. like a real player's iron, to be honest. I am very impressed with the sound. Um, and I haven't actually hit it myself yet, but I have done enough of these test sessions in here with game improvement irons to mm -hmm. have an idea of like, you mentioned that clicky or loud kind of high pitched noise. That's very common in that category. And I'm, I'm dead serious. That might be the softest sounding game improvement iron I've ever heard. I've never felt a softer is, game improvement iron. I, it's, that is very, very good. And I, I, I've been in this exact environment for testing for a few years now. So like the sound and in, indoors in a bay, very used to it. That is really, really good. Mm -hmm. So now I'm curious on the C723 if that carries over, if it's yeah. different. Like, cause I know it's a little bit of different construction here. So we'll see. Let's see it. Well, initially the sound is still very good. Mm -hmm. um, is that a solid strike? That was low on the face. Okay. That was that was one of the poorer strikes of the of the yeah, because session. I'm I'm curious because the vibracore, as I'm looking at it now on the head, the vibracore kind of strip here is low lower on the E723, the e, yeah. lower kind of closer to the sole. And you can see on the the C723, it's a little bit higher placement. Right. So I'm sure that has something to do with a center of gravity and stuff, but b also it might change up the acoustics and mm -hmm. feel and stuff. So. Back to low on the face. That's a bit warmer. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. High cut. Still in the zeros on the club path. Pretty good. So that's kind of your solid strike, right? Yep. Um, gosh, that sound is still really good. It's still it's, pretty good. It's very comparable too, which I think speaks it is. to how good the feel and sound is on E723. But also it carries over to this one, which is I think, I mean, it's super impressive that they put that together in, in an iron of player's distance or game improvement category. Right. I, th I think when you'd expect, when you get to more of a player's iron, when you, when you hit it around kind of the perimeter of the face, you, you feel a bit more of that miss. Yeah. But that middle strike is right. even more solid than the E723. Sure. Ooh. Ooh. You're swinging it today. That's a good golf shot. Another one of those that's just like, couldn't get really any straighter. Um, you remember you had three feet of curve on that one with the E723? <laughs> you, We're going down. Yep, dropped it to two. Mm. He said it's going right. It's, it's, it's right. I've seen you hit it more right. Yeah, oh, it's, many have. It's also a fun lesson in loft because yes. it's funny to see that now this was on purpose. If you listen, listen to the beginning of the video, that Michael was going to swing a little bit faster with um, the C723. Uh, so we actually ended up swinging six to seven miles an hour faster. It's funny how the distance was basically the same uh, in total, mm -hmm. 184 with both irons. So that speaks to how loft at 27 and a half of the E723 resulted in um, a stronger smash factor, more efficiency, right, with lower spin. And the result is the same distance as the C723, which is at 30 degrees. Mm -hmm. So lesson on loft there. It's kind of cool that it actually worked out this way. Spin um, can be your friend. Spin can be your friend. Speaking of spin, um, pretty consistent with both clubs. Um, that number is not deviating a ton. Mm -hmm. I know there's a couple shots of the C723 that you maybe thought were lower on the face. Yep. And we're jumping up near 7,000. Um, but I think that's a good number. and. Again, like we talk about, I mean, especially with the E723, but also with the C723, spin is a good thing to have in irons. It's not, yes. and again, the, the, the movement out there is low spin, low spin, yep. low spin to get more distance, which is true. Um, but controlling the golf ball is important too. And if you watched our Rocco Mediate, what's in the bag, spin is control, spin is control. He said it over and over, you need some spin. Um, Michael, does anything else jump out at you with these numbers up here? Or maybe there's other differences in the look and feel and 
and the performance that you notice as well. I, I think the one in a positive way for both irons is the in terms of the dispersion and the yeah. and the shot making. I felt super comfortable working that kind of one to five yard fade, yeah, which is yeah, the yeah. shot I like to see, kind of the window I like to see with my irons. And with both, I felt very confident kind of swinging it square to maybe a bit left and just seeing it kind of peel off to the right. right. So, um, you know, even though these are irons that are often marketed towards um, more moderate swing speed players, uh, in terms of the shot making, it's still there. Right. Um, one other comment, or I guess point I wanted to make here um, in terms of the dispersion, so before we kind of get to the final thoughts is, it's funny how well this actually turned out. And I mean, it's, we talk about, you know, when we do these tests, initial testing in the string report videos, it's like, okay, how does the club do what it's supposed to do relative mm -hmm. to what the manufacturer is telling us before we start testing, right? This is perfect because the game improvement iron is more designed for distance and giving you a straight ball flight. From east to west, that thing is narrower, right? Yep. There's not, there's less deviation from left to right. You might get a little bit more deviation up and down because it is a distance oriented club, but ultimately it's giving you, a, it's focused on giving you straighter ball flight and distance. Yes. More over, you know, for consistency and distance, right? Just giving you, throw it out there farther and let me get a straight ball flight. Then the C723, smaller club head, you, they, you, ten, you tend to see more distance consistency out of those clubs, right. and that's what manufacturers go for. Look at that one. I mean, super consistent on the distance. It's narrow, narrower, skinnier from kind of that north to south. So I think it's another example of these clubs doing what the manufacturer tells us. And, and then, of course, we talked so glowingly, and it's true. I mean, the feel and sound, or at least the sound from my perspective, you have both Definitely. feel and sound Definitely. that you can attest to. Very, very impressive. Very impressed. All right, Michael, testing completes the Tour Edge 723 irons. Um, I think, I mean, based on, we, we just finished talking about it, but just knock these out of the park, it seems like initially. I mean, in the testing and the feedback we've got so far, fantastic. I have never hit a better feeling game improvement iron in yeah. my entire life. These are fantastic. They tested great. I think the big point was what you mentioned at, at kind of the tail end of that section was if you are kind of a, a lower swing speed player, you're worried about north-south, right? You want to hit the ball farther. Mm -hmm. You want to keep it kind of pretty straight, but you, you want to push the bounds of distance, which this iron did. You look at the C723, you're, you're kind of that maybe single digit handicap. It's, it's the opposite. You want that ball pin high and you'll kind of worry about sort of the east-west. And again, when you look at those kind of dispersion cones, uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you saw that. I was super impressed with the performance right. and feel of these two irons. Yeah, just Absolutely fantastic, and I can't, again, I, I've said it like five times already, but I can't speak enough to the, the sound that yeah. I was hearing from here. Knowing that this is a game improvement iron and a player's distance iron, it's supposed to be loud, and there are times where actually like you can hear ringing in your ears from some of these clubs that are out there. Mm -hmm. So good with these irons. And so just to kind of go over again who's it for, um, the E723, as we talked about, if you are a mid to kind of high handicapper, looking for distance, looking for a straight ball flight, and then of course looking for something that feels really good and sounds really good at the same time, which I, that probably fits a lot of players. That's what I like about the E723 is really it can be a, a, a solid club for a lot of players. And one thing I want to note too, 27 and a half degrees aloft, pretty strong. Yep. Ball's up there comfortably high enough in the air for you. Right. Um, so plenty of height there to be had. You're not going to be hitting that low kind of chaser with your irons where you maybe can't carry something. You have to roll it up to the green. Might not be a problem here. And then the C723, a little more compact, a little more players oriented, slimmer profile. So if you like to not look at like a chunky iron, mm -hmm. not that this one's chunky, but maybe a, a skinnier iron, it's going to fit you as well. Uh, maybe the mid to low handicap range is going to be best uh, to be fit into the C723. But uh, Michael, any other feedback from these irons? I mean, again, we are thoroughly impressed here. Uh, I hope you can like truly understand the, I guess, how impressed we are with these irons. I think if you're in the market for new irons this year, you got to throw these in the mix in your fitting. Yeah, I think when you when you look at a game improvement iron from you know 10,000 feet, you expect distance and forgiveness, but you're always kind of waiting for the catch, right? Like there's got to be a but yeah. and usually that's that's feel look sound and that wasn't really a problem with these right. I, these really are a, as impressive as it gets for game yeah. improvement irons yeah we are thoroughly impressed and i think you have to go 
to a fitting and see for yourself that if you're getting fit for new irons in 2023, throw in the E723 or C723 or go online and talk to one of our experts and get dialed in this year for new Tour Edge 723 irons. Michael, thanks for joining. Again, super impressive stuff. Really fun.